How to write a good melody is probably one of the most abstract and difficult things to grasp. Because where does it come from? How do you make it? And of course, how do you develop it? In this video series, I will give you simple and hands-on tips for how to write and develop your melodies. Today, let's dive into the technique of rhythmic displacement. Even though the examples may not be in your favorite style, the techniques that I show are used in practically all kinds of music, ranging from singer-songwriter to electronic music, and from classical music to rock. Let's say that you have the following chord progression and melody. You like the sound and you like the rhythm, but now comes the question. How can you create more music while using the same melody? The easiest way for mixing things up and creating more from what you already have is to scoot everything up. For example, with one eighth note. This process is called rhythmic displacement. With this trick the whole balance shifts. What used to be on an upbeat now falls on a downbeat and vice versa. Check this out. Remember, rhythmic displacement can be done by delaying the melody or by playing it earlier. In the next example, I've moved the melody to start on the last eighth note. And the cool thing is that with rhythmic displacement, you completely change the balance between melody and harmony. Let's hear what it sounds like when you displace it with a lot. A tip to remember is that you don't have to displace each melody with the same amount. Be creative and mix them up. By the way, if you are wondering what kind of chord progression this is, this is a C Dorian chord progression. Check out this playlist or the link in the description to learn more about modal chord progressions. In this next example, I mixed different rhythmic displacements, each one coming one eighth note later than the other. And towards the end, this creates a really nice speeding up effect when the displaced melody and the original melody are played right after each other. Let's see if you can hear it. Do you see how rewarding this technique actually is? Let me know in the comments if it was useful to you. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment or to share this tip with others. And for now, see you next time.